Summoner's War update 8 to 9. I would love to say that there's 45 minutes of quality content in this update. It's more like maybe two minutes of content and most of it is Guild Siege uh, centric. So let's begin. Uh, skill bounce adjustment which we already went over in the other video. I know a lot of you forgot about it already because it's mostly forgettable. There's a couple There's a couple units like the Water Devil Maiden is nice. I, I like some changes that they did to the purees. So those are nice. And then we have but most of it's... Well, you know, I don't have to tell you, you know exactly what most of it is. Uh, Siege Battle World Guild Battle Improvement Monster Favorites feature, which is lovely. Also, uh, I did notice this. Maybe I haven't been paying attention to the Siege Battle screens previously in other updates, but it feels like they actually put teams in. Like teams that you would actually see in Siege, either offense or defense, because you're not going to see a defense. I can't imagine you would see a defense unless maybe you're a uh, low rank of this but this is a great offense team for siege and then you're seeing teams that people actually might be using in siege so that's kind of i think that's the most surprising part about any of this well, like i said uh, monster favorites we have battle test we already had battle tests but now we have just improved battle testing improved visibility for the different ally teams and things of that nature we have status board quality of life improvements nothing really game changing i know people are going to disagree with me but Honestly, nothing really game changing. Just minimal quality of life improvements that they probably could, they definitely could have done at the very beginning, or if not that, still a long time ago. But you know, quality of life improvements not not a bad thing. Just yeah, just I always wish that there was uh, more than these little improvements in these uh, these updates. So we also have oh special rule setting function removed from battle test, which is kind of nothing that was to be expected. World Arena season twenty nine start special league is always two weeks long. We have the Star Observer Mage transmog. That's pretty nice. I do like that. That's gonna be. I feel like the animations are gonna be really cool for that. But they do a good job with the art team. Always does a good job. We have the flower wagon with fox. Because of course we do. It's another thing to uh, jiggle and talk about how if we have this on the. On the island, we'll get LD5s, even though it doesn't actually impact anything. We have the Leaves of Divine Blessing. That's going to be nice until it winds up being in the wrong spot on the monster, in the wrong orientation. So, what else is new? Uh, these are the same. I believe they're the same as they always are. Uh, not, not always, not always, because we didn't always have the Punisher. And also, these have changed over time. So, uh, I believe they are the same as last season, if I recall correctly. Just different. You know this season's items uh, and then we have the fairy king transmog coming to rta shop so if you missed out on actually getting the rank for that before you can get it now we also have world arena season 29 support monsters all of these units with very mediocre runes unless you're early game if you're early game this is better than nothing this is you can actually play the game up to a certain point with this you can compete at fighter 3 with these uh with some of these well it depends on when in the season but yeah basically you can uh, compete at low level with these units kind of get your feet wet if you're a new player with rta without having to have all these uh, all these things so this i i actually believe that this is nice this is something that i complained about i mean they do this every season now but this is something that i complained about before i was like they should take this idea from saint Seiya knights of the zodiac game by the way fun game uh would definitely recommend it. they're not paying me to say that i would just recommend it because i always thought that that was a uh, um, a fun game. I got into the franchise by playing the mobile game first, which is weird. It should be the other way around, but uh, I suppose it's not really a popular franchise in North America, so I never really knew about it. Anyway, uh, what do we have here? Uh, Water Pioneer, Water Battle Angel, Water Puppeteer, Water Dryad. Most of these are not going to be usable aside from very low level because speed, right? Uh, Water Dryad. Maybe, oh, no, no. I thought that said the Druid for whatever reason. Yeah, uh, it's going to be hard to use these without the speed requirements that they need. Fire Monkey King, because they, they don't come with grinds. So, Fire Monkey King, maybe. Harg, you could use this here. But even, like, you could just build your own Harg. It's not like a unit that's that hard to get. Um, that's really the big thing with these, is like they don't have the speed. And they don't have the grinds. So, otherwise they would be uh, they would be decent enough units. And they don't have the speed because they don't have the grinds. These things never have grinds on the runes on them. Uh, what do we have? Monkey King, Cult Girl, Harg, Shadowcaster, Panda Warrior. Panda? Maybe he could be usable. Fengia might be usable here. Light Brian Magician, that's not... Uh, yeah, all, all this stuff is not really going to be... 
aside from maybe the Monkey King and maybe the Panda Warrior. But again, no grinds, no uh, and, and very low speed. Mock Battle Monster stats changed because the balance patch, so just minor tweaks. Uh, Witcher collab ending. What else do we have? Oh yeah, the Summoner's War original monsters that have the same stats and skills as the Witcher collab monsters will be added to the game via an update in May. I'm excited to see what those are going to be. Maybe we'll see if an exciting up. Nope. We might see an exciting update for uh, for when those Summoner's War exclusives come to the game. So. Uh, other improvement modifications, nothing, I don't think there's anything too crazy. Yeah, the location of all Geralt's HP bar on the battle screen has been modified to be more visible. Great, what about the fact that half of them suck? You don't want to modify that? Okay, fine, leave that as it is, but we got to make sure the HP bar... <sighs> Always. Oh, but guys, commas have been added. Ooh, <laughs> very exciting. Commas have been added. Alright, let's go do some actual gameplay. Stop talking about this. Theo Mars gets banned out. Sad. Uh. I'm not gonna stun him. <sighs> Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go here. This way. Maybe that was uh, unnecessary overkill nonsense. Because uh, you know how I roll. Alright, we got provokes on everyone. Oh my goodness, this is about to get cra maybe crazy. I don't know. Alright. Using the wrong skills. All right. Get it. Oh, okay. Man, it's a real bummer that they're gonna cool down this uh, Rakan. Lols. That's a joke. He's gonna cool down Theomar. Is what he's gonna do. Yeah. Can we stun? Nope. We can. Do this though. So that helps. So let's see if we can do something to this uh, Oliver. That's that was something. We did do something. Okay. Nice collapse. Thank you. Oh, no, okay. I'll take that. All right. Nice. <laughs> He's kind of glancing it. Uh, what, what do you really expect? Okay. And that is the buff in action. Well, that no, that's half the buff. The increased attack bar part is the buff. Feels, feels like we're going to get water monkeyed. Let's see. <laughs> not not going to happen. Yeah. Should we just take this uh, vertical down? Maybe we take the vertical down. Okay. I I think I was kind of confused at what I wanted to do <laughs> on that one. So yeah. Well, 
Let's go here. Because we don't need to cleanse that just yet. Famous last words. I'm, I'm really worried about this monkey. I'm really worried about this monkey. All right. She's tanky. She can take it. We could have a two turn. See, we're supposed to be sp sp spotlighting. We're supposed to be spotlighting the units, guys. If we don't use the invincibility, like, that could get a two turn invincibility. That would be really beneficial. We should do that. Nope. <laughs> Let's spotlight. Okay, we're going to spotlight the invincibility. Here we go. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, my God. All right. Well, listen, guys, I don't, I don't think about these things, okay? Don't at me. But little did you know. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Let's uh, let's do that. Just a strip. I'll just keep going for that, I suppose. Uh, we should go for Vanessa first, shouldn't we? Well, we can go for Vanessa. We can. We okay. Listen. We can put Vanessa in the bag. All right. And then we can do this. And then we can do this. Then kill with the Zhao, who I didn't think was going to be the one doing the damage. But you know, I'll take it. Vanessa's got two turns. Can still do the revive, but we'll come back and we kill again. That's how this goes. Pro probably could have done that more efficiently, but but it's not the worst. It's not. It's not the worst. <laughs> yeah, he was he was hoping for that. He he went for the Zhao because he wanted to keep the attack power break on the uh, on the Theo Mars. I'm trying to think of exactly how I want to play this uh, this skill too, because that could be really beneficial if we did it the right way, which we are not quite doing. We're not really getting the max. But like we could bring it with a Feng Yan. Do we have Feng Yan on here? Maybe. And they would have to hit the Feng Yan. You know, I will take it. Will I take it? I might take it. Can we stun? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. At least we don't have to worry about getting both of them. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Oh, we got lots of them. Alright, so... Can we take this down? No, we cannot. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Let's go here. Let's go here. Bye bye, mage. Yep. Please, 
Please do not kill Theo Mars. Well, Theo Mars got his, uh, he's got his passive. He's gonna go for Theo Mars, though. He's not gonna go for Theo Mars! I think I think the Omars are uh He's our ace in the hole. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I think the Omars might help us win. That's what I meant to say. I hope so at least. Okay, so one down. I am concerned. He's gonna revenge. We are gonna be screwed. Can we stun? Nope. Ooh, okay, we lose. Ooh, no stun. Ooh, we need a stun. Ooh, we need, okay. We need RNG. Oh, okay, well, there we go, there we go. So we have the thing in that I was talking about before, but not quite with the uh, the combo that we were also talking about. So let's see. Skill three finger. Yep. Really, he did not try to finish that off. Okay. We'll go here, because we need things to stay alive. Man, we are never going to get any turns. We, re we really are never going to get any turns. Holy crap. I think we have to go for the... This thing's going to get ridiculous. skills does she have? Uh, let's just do Rakuni. When in doubt, just Rakuni himself. I'm, I'm very scared of this monkey because I know how much additional damage he can do with skill 3. Okay, they're going for the kill. Star Rakuni is working like other people's Rakunis are. <laughs> Alright. Rakuni's still resisting. And he's down. It's too much. Too oh, maybe he's not down. Alright. He is not down. Raccoonie doing, uh, D-bag Raccoonie things. Yep. This could have literally gone either way very easily. It still can. It still can. <laughs> Damn you, water monkey. All right. Hey, full circle. Damn you, water monkey. Take him 
turn down, and we auto. All right, how much gets cooled down? Let's... Can we? No. We cannot. This one? No, Theomars. We gotta find a better one. Every time I get, I try to use Feng Yin, he does not make it through. So, yeah. Welcome back, Vanessa. This was kind of pointless <laughs> to put in the bag. Uh. One of these days. We can do two turns of invincibility, so let's try this. Welcome back. Glancing? Nope. Bye bye, Jap. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, never mind. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Yeah, we gotta take this down. But I, I really do not want this Theo Mars to die. Yeah, I don't want I don't want any of that. <laughs> I don't want any of that. Invincibility. I kinda wanna save that I I wanna save that for the monkey. I really do. I'm more scared of the monkey than I am Camila, as you can see. All right, one down. Oh, revenge, okay. Oh, okay, sure, why not? Why not? 